was trying to see what Krishan Nicole was doing, and it was never about me. Yeah, man. Anybody know about haters? Y'all don't really know. Y'all don't have those. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so he said, limited, and he said, I want you to cut this off, and I want you to do this. And he said, when it's full, it's done. I said, well, why are you cutting it off like that? He said, because those who want it will come and get it. I said, okay, Jesus, I got you. Give me that on there, Jesus. Give me that. And so that's why I was restrictive with time, and because it was a destiny appointment for everybody that's here. And so some people canceled, some people gave away tickets because it wasn't their time yet. Come on, yeah. And so you have to understand that if you're here, God has something specifically for you to do. Yes. Yes. Uh, if you're in a seat right now, this is your divine destiny appointment to your place called Next in Life. Now I'm not saying everybody going to be on a pulpit with a mic. That's not everybody's portion. But wherever you are, there's something in you that God wants to stir up. And so... Um, as we go through the, and navigate this, they understand that this was designed by God. Everything was navigated with a purpose. Where you're sitting is with a purpose. Uh, who you're sitting by is, is a purpose. Um, the, the sessions you go through, it's with a purpose. So your time and your labor is not in vain because it's for a purpose. Yes. And before yes. I go any further, I want to thank my apostle, the covering of my ministry, yes. uh, the person whose church I go to every Sunday <laughs> and visit every night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, come on. Y'all been quit playing with me. Apostle Mitchell Cole, give it up for him in the back. Hallelujah. And my brother was here. See, he likes to just go on and be chillax. Uh, Prophet Sean was here. Let me tell you something about that. Um, we had a women's get. We would have women's gathering. Man, is y'all hot? Yeah. Oh, man. they turned up. Thank you, baby. I can't do no heat. You know, I'll be sleep myself. Good God, I started stripping up here. Yes. You can't feed me and then give me heat. A recipe for sleep. So. But one of the women's gatherings we had, it was over 300 women, but we had some men there. So somebody had the nerve to say, well, why was there men in the house? I thought it was all women. So before, I, there he is, Prophet Sean. That's my younger brother. Um, I'm older than him by one minute. And then, that's my twin. Don't look at me like that. What happened was they said in the womb, I ate up all the greens. Nina, y'all don't laugh. That's my cousin Nina. They, they went with that foolishness and said I ate all the food from him and I was smushing him. That's okay. I had to take off my mask. I had a complex. A big girl complex. Oh, but ten years ago I understood who I was. See, I done turned off the lights with my back. You understand big girls, we do that sometimes. And you just flip them back like that. Like nothing happened, you know. You ain't gonna bring that complex back. And so, I'm making a point here. And so, I understood that the ladies who made the comment about the men being there were going through some crisis on themselves. See, they didn't have men, or men. Come on. And so, they don't understand the support of a mate. And plus, when y'all fall out, I ain't gonna be catching nobody. <laughs> we need some, you always need some men around. Amen. Amen. So I thank them for coming out because he was like, well, you don't think? No, come on out. And so they're gonna actually be a part of the team later on to minister to a lot of you all um, because we will do uh, ministry and prayer at the end to everybody who's here. Amen. So it takes a team for that. So I thank them for coming out um, and being a support. Ladies, you got to know before you say I do, you got to know what you're going to do. I'm going to park there for a minute. Before you marry a man, before you say I do, you got to understand there's a purpose for a marriage. And you got to understand if your purpose and his purpose match up. That's why we have so many marriages. Oh, it's quiet. I'm in the, I'm in the bay right there. Oh, you know, I'm going to stay right there. That's why we have marriages that are recipes for disaster because you didn't consult the Lord about that man you had. And so now you're praying to God to get you out. But God, like you didn't listen to me when I told you and gave you red flags. 
you wanted to do what you want to do. But God is so gracious that he'll have mercy as you go through. But some of us don't even have to go through the stuff we're going through. Uh, just say, ouch. And if it's you, just pray and ask God to do it. He'll do it for you. But you need to be a witness to somebody else and say, pray for your mate. Ask God to send you. Don't be so hot in the pit. Y'all act like y'all don't have needs, right? I ain't gonna play with you. But before I got married, Sally Sue was on fire. Come on, can we be real? Y'all trying to act dignified. See, that's the problem. That's why don't nobody want to come to church. Because y'all act stuck up in Sedati. And you act like you ain't never had no hot moments. And you act... I ain't got time to fool with real people. Because there's some real people that want some real answers. And you can't tell them Jesus save all the time. You got to let them know how he'll save you. Run from temptation. Flee. That's the Bible. If you resist the devil, he'll flee. Play with me up in here. <laughs> You came to get some truth. You're going to get it today. It's going to set you free. That's what the Bible said. But first, you need to open up your mouth and let somebody know. It's not always easy, but it's worth it. Amen.